If you've been looking for a new auto-loading bell wagon, I think we got gotcha. you. What's going on everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we've got nine mods, but those are just from today. We actually have two mods from yesterday as well. For all platforms, we have five new and three updates. And for PC and Mac, we have one new from today and two new from yesterday. Let's check them all out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have the Herculano HP. This is going to be available in two different forms. You have your square bell version and your round bell version. These are going to be 16 slots each on consoles and one slot for every trailer after that. But that's only for each different version. So if you get two of these square bells, one of them is going to be 16 slots, the other one's going to be one, and vice versa. Trying to put those in there for you guys. Let's start off with this version. As a matter of fact, they're both exactly the same. It's just the capacity that's different. So base, we have a toolbox at the bottom. We have two toolboxes at the bottom. Toolboxes and the frame or base. It's going to be the same for both. Auto load, yes or no. So you don't have to have auto load on these if you don't want to. Capacity, at least for the square barrel version, is 21 or 28. We'll set up so we have standard, wide tires, back and forth between those, and that is it. If we go over here to the round bell version, this is going to be either 24 or 36 bells. So we have, again, design, base, tool frame, all that good stuff. Auto load, yes and no capacity it wasn't changed it looks like maybe they just copy and pasted over from the square bell version so this is still gonna say 21 and 28 however if you look at the top left under the name it's gonna say 24 and 36 bells we'll set up standard wide tires and that's it it's just a normal auto load bell trailer next is gonna be the lizard ogle 2 elm if you guys are on consoles it's gonna be four slots for the first one one slot for every one you buy after that this is a beet topper so what you do is you go through your sugar beets and you simply top them take the tops off then you can harvest a lot of harvesters don't require this though you can just go over them 60 horsepower required a two meter working with at eight miles per hour a couple of customization options rim colors well you guys know Rim color is a rim color. Main color is going to be the frame on this bad boy right here. And then your design color, this is going to be the back. So that brown part on the back, plastic, metal, whatever it is, that is what is going to be design color. Your next new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Lizard 2248 Manure Spreaders from Adub Modding. This is going to be manure spreader with 20,000 liter capacity. Doesn't do anything else, no lime, no fertilizer only manure 140 horsepower required 12 meter working width and that's going to be at 12 miles per hour we can change up the main color set on john deere but you could set that to whatever you like we'll set up so we have standard and of course the t404 bring it on baby let's go would be cool to see some rim color customization at a later date and maybe a future update but for now there you go that is your lizard 2248 manure spreader our next new mod for all platforms today is going to be the cow barn this is a barn in a polish style because of course it is capacity is only 15 cows it's gonna cost you hundred thousand dollars so do keep that in mind 60 bucks per day it is going to be a whopping 32 slots if you guys are on consoles so do keep that in mind as well it's pretty heavy on the slot count uh, is anything else? Season's ready. Manure system ready. Let me out. All right. Well, I guess we're trapped in here. <laughs> uh, otherwise, there you go. Not a whole lot to it. It is very nicely detailed. I will give them that. And do we have a place up here at the top that we can go in? It looks like that answer is yes. And we can walk straight through. Okay. This may be a little bit cooler than I thought it was. All right, there you go. The cow barn in a Polish style. And your last new mods for all platforms today is going to be the half tire and bunker tire, AKA bunker tires. These are going to be one slot each. If we take these, you could place them down. So you place them down whenever you like. Ours are going to be over here. And then can we pick them up? I'm assuming that we can. Yes, we can. These are purely for decoration and nothing else. If you guys know, whenever you do a bunker, normally you would put tires on it to keep everything down. Well, these in game, you don't have to worry about it, but at least, hey, you've got them here. We also have a couple other mods like this as well. So these are not the only options that you've got, but there you go. Bunker tires. Making our way into mod updates for today. For all platforms, we have the Lizard G54. This is going to be changelog version 1.3. 
new Midas tires have been added. So there you go. We got some Midas tires on here. If you guys would like to buy this, it's going to be nine slots for the first one and one slot for everyone after that. Next is the Lizard Universal Cultivator. Update Change Dog 1.1. Manual height and tilt adjustment has been added. So you can basically have full control over this. However, it's not going to change the working any. This is a cultivator and it is going to be one slot and your last mod update today for all platforms going to be the architectural model now these are from uh, farmer five tom as you can see over here we have the old version now this is going to be our new version this is called the highway maintenance building it's going to cost you ninety thousand dollars would be 46 slots if we come around here we can open that up goes up pretty darn quickly we do have a workshop area place for some crops in the back and here on the left We've got an open area for some vehicles. So one thing they have said about this is they said that this was a modern building and this is used near a German motorway as an operating building for the motorway maintenance department. So there you go. Pretty neat. I like that. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. We're going to start with Noah Weiss and I have somehow found myself outside the map boundary. There we go. This is a functional map. Of course, it is four towns and naturally it is Polish because of course it is. Uh, you've got new ground and vegetation textures, new crops of carrots and onions. Not really new, but it is what it is there. Multi-terrain angle 360 degrees. There is a plane flying around. Get out of your planes. Uh, you, six farms 138 fields bga seven cell points sawmill forest traffic and pedestrians gas station workshop aka a normal map yeah all right <laughs> oh boy we're getting off to a great start today you have a bunch of stuff i hope you like fiat because you got like what one two three four four of them uh you get one bison super too many pickup trucks it's really confusing a couple tippers uh header Get some Polish building style stuff and some Z's. There you go. Let's take a look at the PDA, see what we get around here. Here is your PDA and here is your owned farms. So you've got uh, a bunch of different ones. Actually, every single farm is owned. So here's a farm. There's a farm. Everywhere's a farm farm. Oh, McDonald. He had a farm. Is this being too much? Sounds like too much. <laughs> anyway, there you go. I don't know, man. It's, it's a Polish map with a bunch of small stuff. Ta-da! Now, making our way into mods that were released yesterday. Two new ones for all platforms. First is going to be the Bunker Package, the Manure Bunker Package. Uh, this has three different manure bunkers. You can see here, we've got one, and then we have one open one here that kind of digs itself down into the ground. And then we have a third that not only digs itself into the ground, but also does this. One <laughs> hilarious part. I don't know how in the world this got through. Uh, required mods. Place anywhere. Great. Yeah, that's totally on the mod hub. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that. Anyway, regardless, uh, there you go. It is manure system ready. These are for slurry. If you guys are curious, let's pop in and see if we can find them among the Z's. So the one that goes on the hillside or is dug into the ground, it's going to cost you $28,000 and it holds three th or 340,000 liters. As far as the normal in-ground bunker, that's going to cost you twenty. dollars 24,000, sorry, 28 on the first one, 24,000 on the second one, uh, 340,000 there as well. And then 300,000 liter capacity on the 10 meter version. That's going to cost you $18,000. So there you go. You got all those, but you got a tool to use with them as well because they hold a, a neat secret, actually. It's kind of cool. The Suma Giant Mix Z4 Agitator. This is a premium quality agitator, as you can tell. Tractor driven, uh, the Giant Mix Z4 is characterized by easy handling, quiet operation, and high mixing performance. With the help of the agitator, you can mix your slurry in liquid form so it becomes thinner and therefore can be pumped more directly. Uh, this requires a manure system and a manure bunker package, which we just showed. Uh, you got a couple different things through here. It's very cheap. Uh, 140 horsepower is required for this. But basically what you do is, especially with these two bunkers right here, you will take the agitator and then use that to mix these. Because what will happen uh, is at certain times, the slurry can be um, thickened up over time and you can get in here with the agitator and thin it out and it can then be pumped faster. 
pretty cool. I like that implementation. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today's new mod video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, and join the Goham fam. Make sure your notification bells are turned on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I'm trying to make this more console player friendly. Uh, I have in the past not done slot counts for console players. I'm doing that now. It takes a little extra time to make the videos, but that is totally okay with me. If you guys are enjoying that, let me know. If there's a different way you'd like me to do the videos, hey, let me know. I'm here for you guys. Always said, hope you have a great day. I'll see you later. Peace.